Hello everybody and welcome back to another video about an even more improbable level than I made. In my last improbable level, you had better odds in winning the lottery. In this level, you have a 1 in 904 Trevengentillion chance in guessing the right code. That's equivalent to 8 to the 83rd power, or 9.04 times 10 to the 74th power, or this number. For reference, that's close to the number of atoms in the visible universe, which is 10 to the 80th power. After designing the first version, I was able to come up with a more compact design that allowed for more digits with a minor trade-off of having a base 8 number instead of base 10. The main advantage of this design is it uses coins instead of PAL blocks to detect each value. In Super Mario Maker 2, blocks and sprites have different limits, and the block limit in this game is much higher than sprites, which lets me use almost the entire screen of the sublevel. And just like with the first brute force level, I exhausted the entire sprite limit to make as many digits as I could, which was 83. In order to beat this level, you have to guide a mushroom throughout the level across every bullet bill launcher until it reaches this note block, which has a key in it. Once you get the key, you can unlock this door, which takes you to the end of the level. Sounds simple, right? So how does this level work? Well, first off, the entire mechanism is built within the subworld, so there is no chance of guessing the code by the level thumbnail. The level starts off with forcing the switch to be in the off state. This is important since the level is slightly darker in the off state, which prevents the player from being able to see as much of their surroundings. The code is comprised of 83 different length bullet bill launchers. Each launcher rests on top of a brick block, and directly below it are 7 coins which are covered with a vine. The vine allows you to climb up or down to collect a certain amount of coins. This means that you can collect from 0 to 7 coins, which gives you 8 different possible choices. This represents the base 8 value of the digit. The one-way gates prevent you from going back. Once you finish inputting your code, you then enter a door which brings you to the beginning of the level, but this time, you are on the bottom half. During this part, the P-Switch timer is activated throughout the rest of the level. Because you are trapped between two bullet bill launchers, you are forced to wait. So what is the point of the P-Switch timer? When a P-Switch is active, brick blocks turn into coins and vice versa. This means that once the P-Switch is activated for the first time, all the bullet bill launchers fall onto the coins which turn into solid blocks from the P-Switch. Depending on how many coins you've collected will determine how much the launcher falls. And since each launcher is a different height, how many coins you must collect for each digit changes. If you collect too many coins, the bullet bill launcher falls too much, which makes the mushroom fall into the hole. If you collect not enough coins, the bullet bill launcher doesn't fall enough, which makes the mushroom change direction. Therefore, in order for the mushroom at the top of the screen to make it all the way to the end, every value must be exactly correct. The reason this works is because coins do not reset when you enter a door, which is why you are brought back to the beginning of the level. The P-Switch must be active the entire time since once the timer runs out, not only do the blocks turn back into coins, which makes all the bullet bill launchers fall, but the coin also turns into a block, which kills the launchers. Just like with the last level, it is crucial not to give the player any additional information other than whether they got the code right or wrong. And when a bullet bill launcher is killed, it slowly falls off screen. And thanks to the power of video recording, people can analyze each launcher's height before it falls off screen to potentially decipher a digit of the code. If you got the code right, the mushroom will land on the note block, giving you the key literal moments before reaching the door. If you got the code wrong, you will be crushed to your death. And that is all the information you, as a player, will get. Unfortunately, there is not a faster way to make the mushroom travel across the bullet bill launchers. Additionally, the wing platform travels slightly faster than the mushroom, which is why I needed to delay the platform by making it travel downwards roughly once every screen. So can this design be improved? As of now, yes. With the current design, I could have actually added even more bullet bill launchers if I removed the saws on the bottom half of the level. 
The only reason they are there is to prevent the player from trying to get outside of the bill bill launchers for whatever reason. I've also been playing around with on-off blocks to see if I can make a more compact design with those, since the block limit is much more lenient than the spray limit. The hardest part about designing one of these levels is not letting the player know if they got a specific digit right or wrong, which makes it hard to design more compact solutions. I've also considered trying to make a dynamic code. In other words, the code changes every time you replay the level. But this is a much harder task now that RNG in Mario Maker 2 is based off player movement. However, this will not stop me from trying to make an even more improbable level in the future. So, just like with the last level, are you going to tell anyone the code? Yeah, it's right here. Also, here's a clear video as well. Have fun. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, let me know if you enjoy these types of videos. I'm actually starting to get the hang of editing videos. So yeah, thanks for watching. Seven, two, three, four, one, seventy six. Four, two, six, four, five, three, five, seven, four, zero, six. Four, six, seven, two, two, six, four, five, five. Five, two, 
six, six, one, five. Cybersecurity 102 Brute Force. There are 8 to the 83rd power possible combinations to beat this. Good luck. Dot 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 literally. That is correct. If you beat this level, you cheated. Short and sweet. <laughs> or you got the code from the person that cheated. Or they had an update that allowed you to look at levels and editor. Because there is no way anyone is doing this legit. 